Good evening to you all. Welcome to TCM and more of our 31 Days of Oscar Festival. I'm Alicia Malone and tonight we have a lineup of movies that won the Best Original Screenplay Oscar. This category was first established for the 13th Annual Academy Awards, which honoured films from the year 1940. And we're about to watch the very first winner for Best Original Screenplay, written and directed by Preston Sturges, It's the Great McGinty. This was the directorial debut of Preston Sturges, who had already established himself as a screenwriter in Hollywood. Over the years, he'd become frustrated at the way his work would be changed during production and decided he wanted to have more creative control over his screenplays. Sturges wrote this script under the original title The Story of a Man with Spencer Tracy in mind to star, but after a few name changes like The Vagrant, The Biography of a Bum and Down Went McGinty, it ended up as The Great McGinty starring Brian Don Levy. Don Levy plays the title character, Dan McGinty, who goes from being homeless to running for governor. But this is no shiny, inspirational American dream story. It's a political satire, with McGinty's rise from rags to riches told in flashback. And in the current day, McGinty is back at the bottom, working in a seedy bar in South America. This film came during a time in Hollywood when it wasn't common for writers to direct their own material and Sturgis had to work hard to convince Paramount that he was up to the task. In the end, he did it by making an offer they just couldn't refuse, selling his original screenplay to the studio for $10 on the condition that he would direct it, which lowered the overall budget considerably. Also starring William Demarest from 1940, this is The Great McGinty. Writer Preston Sturges made his directorial debut with The Great McGinty, and it was a big success. A headline in The Hollywood Reporter read, McGinty a socko, Sturges writing direction tops. And Newsweek praised how the film was a one-man show, quote, and the man is a screenwriter named Preston Sturges. Sturges was also nominated for the Best Original Screenplay Academy Award, going up against other veteran writers like Ben Hecht, Charles Bennett, John Huston and Charlie Chaplin. Sturges won the Oscar, becoming the first winner in this newly established category. And just before Oscar night, Sturges heard rumblings that he might win, so he tried to come up with something funny to say in his acceptance speech. When his name was announced, he took to the stage in a rented tuxedo and said, Mr. Sturges was so overcome by the mere possibility of winning an Oscar that he was unable to come here tonight and asked me to accept in his stead. The problem was nobody knew what Preston Sturges looked like. So, as he later said, the audience thought that I actually was somebody else. So all the applause ceased and I walked dismally back to my table missing one of the greatest moments of my life. Up next is an Oscar-winning writer who was distracted during his Oscar moment by a giant clock counting down the 30 seconds he had to speak. It's Charlie Kaufman who won Best Original Screenplay for the movie we have after this break, based on a story by Kaufman, Michelle Gondry and Pierre Bismou. Stay with us. Next on TCM, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, then Gosford Park, and later Network. TCM will atone tonight. <laughs> 